What's up, navigation traders? Welcome to this week's video update where we review all the trades from the week exclusively for our pro members. Before we jump into the alerts, let's take a look in the community who got caught being hot this week. So it goes to a newer member who has been jumping in, been really active in the community, uh, not only asking a lot of questions, but also sharing some uh, share, sharing some answers and resources as well. So congrats, Mike Evian. Hope I'm pronouncing that last name correctly. Congrats, Mike. You got caught being hot. All right, let's jump into the alerts, starting with Monday the 29th. Our first trade was a rolling adjusting trade in CL. So this is our oil strangle. Rolled this one out. It got to under 21 days to expiration. So we went ahead and rolled that out to July with 49. And we've got two pieces in oil still. So we've got uh, two different short strangles, both of which are inverted. Uh, this is the one that we just rolled. You can see prices come back a little bit. So we've made back some money even since Monday, since that roll. Uh, just looking for a little bit more downside in oil. I mean, if we can if we can get down to that 58, 59 level, uh, we will. I'll have to double check, but we'll be pretty close to being profitable in oil at this point if we get down there. And then our other piece here, kind of same situation. We we just need a little bit of a downside. Kind of that 59 area would be perfect in oil. So hopefully we can we can see that. Got to, got a nice move down in oil this week. Uh, yesterday was a huge move down. And so if we can get a little bit of a continuation lower, uh, that would be perfect. That would be ideal. Obviously, if it, it turns around and rips higher, we're going to continue to manage that mechanically and do what's necessary to uh, keep that one going. Next trade was a closing trade in WFC. That's Wells Fargo. We had an iron condor there booked over 45% of max profit. We got a nice contraction there. Let me pull up the chart. WFC, oops, WFC, and what you'll see here is we put this on after earnings, implied volatility stayed elevated, so we went ahead and put on an iron condor, and then we got this nice contraction in implied volatility, prices stayed steady enough, and we were able to, to book a nice profit in that one. So we are out of Wells Fargo. Next trade was a closing adjusting trade in IWM. So we closed out the put vertical side because uh, price breached our break even to the upside. And there's little, very little value in that put vertical side. And so we're still holding that call vertical. I was actually hoping to get out of this uh, yesterday when the market was down. Unfortunately, it reversed before we were quite to the point of taking it off. And so if we take a look at that piece now, it's kind of broken just out of range again. It was all the way back here. I was waiting to, to get to the point where we would be profitable on that iron condor overall, which we were, but just not quite enough. And unfortunately, it reversed on us. Hopefully, it'll bounce back in and we uh, will be able to do so. That's in May. And then in June, we've also got a full iron condor, which is pretty centered down a tiny bit on this one, but just waiting for some more time to pass in IWM on that piece. Next trade was a rolling adjusting trade in SMH. So had 17 days to expiration, so we were under 21. So we wanted to roll that one out to the next expiration. And then our puts had very little value left in them. So we went ahead and rolled those up from 104 to 111. And so now we are holding the 108, 111 short strangle in SMH. So if we go to that on our analysis tab, we've got two pieces here. The first one, let's look at that roll that we just mentioned. So could use a little bit more downside there uh, to benefit that piece. Let me widen this out for you. Price is hanging out right here in the upper end of that range. And then the other piece that we have is this one here. It's an inverted strangle. So again, need, need a little bit more down movement there. Uh, but it, it uh, uh, just a little bit more down movement. We should be able to get book a profit in SMH overall. Next trade was an opening trade in KRE. So this is one we recently re-added back to our watch list because of the open interest and, and volumes really good, tight bid ask spreads. And so we, and the implied volatility was nice and high. So we put on a short strangle in KRE. You can see this is pretty dead centered right where we put it on. If we take a look at the charts, uh, you can see it's still implied volatility percentiles at 56. So a good symbol to be selling some premium in. And if we take a look at the 
trade tab, just to give you an idea. I mean, there's thousands of contracts being traded around the money and really tight, you know, two cent, three cent bid ask spreads. So uh, really becoming a better uh, symbol to trade again. And that is the uh, that is the regional banking ETF. So uh, just another kind of diversified symbol outside of just a straight straight stocks. It's kind of a sector ETF, which is a uh, typically good good type of symbols to trade. Next trade, opening trade in Apple. So this is one that we uh, we put on as a post earnings short put vertical. And we posted in the community before before the market opened because what we like to do with these is that when price opens above and beyond the expected move, we tend to have price stay kind of steady to higher and we either sell puts or sell put verticals because we also get a little bit of a continuation in contraction in implied volatility for the next day or two after earnings as well. And so we put that one on and, and then we... Well, I'm not seeing it here. Oh, yeah, there it is. We closed it just a couple hours later. There's a couple alerts in between. So basically, let's go to the chart, and I'll show you what we did here. And I also just, uh, I actually recorded this one live, so I sent out a, a, a video. But So here's where it was the day before, and then they announced earnings, and it opened up $10 higher. The expected move was about 9 bucks, and so it opened up 10 so we wanted to see the price continue higher. We sold that short put vertical and it and it shot up that same day. So within two hours, we got out up here, closed that out for a nice profit just in a matter of hours. Now the next day, uh, price actually came back down, well, it came back down that same day and then went a little bit lower the next day. We entered basically the same, same exact trade looking for another continuation to the upside. We're starting to get that now and um, and so you can see we're up about 130 some dollars. Uh, Want to get about 30 to 50 percent of max profit on this. So hopefully, if we can retest that 215 level, that'll get us over 50 percent of max profit. So we'll see what happens into early next week on that one. We ended up doing this in May, so we didn't go out to our typical 30 to 60 days because we're looking for a pretty quick move here. So we stayed in May with with just a couple weeks left until expiration. So. That's where we're currently at in Apple. Next uh, next trade alert was in XRT. We did a rolling adjusting trade down to 16 days to expiration in May at that point. So we rolled out to June. So if we take a look at XRT, you can see prices just still kind of hanging out here in the upper end of the range. So just looking for a little bit of downside to benefit that. Next trade, closing adjusting trade in DIA. So we closed out our put vertical side of our iron condor because it breached the upside break even. And so we're still holding the call vertical side. Very similar to what I just mentioned in IWM, price came back yesterday on Thursday when we had that little down move. And I was really close to uh, pulling the trigger on this one as well, but just waiting for a little bit more. And uh, price has gone back up a little bit, but still within range. Just waiting for a little bit more down movement to benefit that piece. If we do get a pop in implied volatility, we might uh, we might consider adding to this one. But with IV percentile at 27, IV rank at eight, uh, we're just we're just holding this uh, call vertical side at this point. Next trade, rolling adjusting trade in XLK. So this is a long put vertical that we originally put on for that short delta exposure. We went ahead and rolled this out from May to June and adjusted our strikes and, and to get back to a positive theta position. So if we take a look at XLK, here's what that looks like. And you can see we've, we've benefited a little bit since we've done that roll. It's come down a little bit, uh, just looking for some more downside. We're holding this for that short delta exposure. And speaking of short delta, we're about three and a half to one on our ratio. So really good spot. I really like ideally being in that kind of two to three ratio. Uh, we, we, we have a range of, you know, up to as much as five to one on that ratio, uh, but much prefer to be kind of more in that two to three. We're at about three and a half. So, so good, good position. If we can get a little bit of a reversal, the market is up today, but if we can get a reversal into next week, with a little bit of down movement, that's that's definitely going to benefit our portfolio uh, greatly. Next trade, closing trade in Apple. That's one I just mentioned. That was the same day on that post-earnings short put vertical. 
Next trade was a closing trade in XBI. So we put this one on. Let me take a look. Let's take a look at the chart of XBI first. Uh, this was a this was a great trade. Uh, we put this on. You know, we we had this uh, big down movement in XBI, and then we had this bounce higher. And when we have these big pushes down and then a bounce higher, a lot of time that sets up well for a kind of a rollover continuation to the downside. Now we put this on when price was about right here, middle of this bar. Took a little bit of heat on it these for these few days, but then it did roll over this week and we were able to book a nice profit on XBI. Booked over 50% of max profit and we were in that trade for uh, less than a couple weeks. Next trade was an opening trade in Apple. So this was yesterday. Uh, so this was our last trade of the week. We did not have any trade alerts today on Friday. Just everything just kind of holding steady. Uh, no adjustments needed, no closes needed, no opens. And so no, no trade alerts today. So the last trade was on Thursday. And that's when I mentioned we reopened that short put vertical in Apple, looking for a little bit of a retest of those of that 215 level. Uh, to hopefully book a profit in that again. So we'll see what happens. Uh, let's take a look at some of our other positions, starting with ES. We've got a long put vertical here that we've been holding for that short delta exposure. With today's move, price has moved back out of range. Uh, it's up here, so if we don't get a quick move, we'll look to roll this next week. Or either way, we'll be rolling it. Uh, you know, Obviously, it'd be better if it moved back into range before we rolled it. Uh, but we've got in this, we've got, um, you know, 14 days left to expiration. So we may not even do it next week. We've got a couple of weeks to make a decision on that and see what happens. Natty gas, we've got these two pieces on still in Nat gas and price has kind of moved down out of our range on the, on the put side, both of, both of the pieces are using the three strike put. And then we've got the two different calls, 2.75 and 2.8. So by and large, uh, they're they're right around the same after adjustments and everything we've done. They ended up being kind of pretty close to the same. So we're just kind of looking at both of these together, but could definitely use some upside movement in Natty Gas. Uh, we started to get over the last week or so, we've, we've gotten a nice little bounce here. If we can get a little bit of a continuation to the upside, that would definitely benefit our Natty Gas position. In wheat, we've got two pieces on here. We've got a Short put vertical that was part of our previous iron condor. Price came down, breached this break even, so we closed out the untested side. Now just uh, looking for a little bit of upside to get back into range on that piece. And then we've got another full iron condor here, which is dead centered. We've got some profit just waiting for some more before we take that off. Looking for about 30 to 40% of max profit on that before we book anything there. And, uh, and then wheat. We are in June with 21 days to expiration, so we've got some time there. Remember, on our uncovered options, on our naked naked positions, once we get under that 21 days, then we look to roll out to the next expiration cycle. But with defined risk, we're willing to let that go a little bit longer, closer to expiration. Uh, so we're, we're not looking to do anything in wheat yet at this point. I mentioned Apple, uh, DIA, I mentioned that, EEM, we've got a short call vertical on. We're out in June with 49 days to expiration, so just looking for some more downside before we do anything there. In Facebook, very similar to Apple, we put on a short put vertical after earnings. Now, this one we put on here and then uh, came down the next day and it's just been kind of bouncing around. We didn't get that quick up movement uh, like we did in Apple, but hopefully we'll see a little bit of a continuation up to about the 200 level and that would give us a chance to, to book profits in Facebook. Intel, we put this on as a short strangle after earnings. Uh, they came out with earnings, but the implied volatility crush uh, it just got a little bit of a crush. And so we, there was still some elevated premiums in Intel. So we put on a short strangle and it's just been kind of grinding lower and then popping a little bit higher today, starting to get more contraction in implied volatility. So we've got a little bit of profit here, about 70 bucks, but just waiting for some more profit. Going to try to book between 30 and 50% of max profit in this trade. IWM, I mentioned that one. IYR, we've got a, a kind of a tight iron condor here. Price is hanging out up here. Need a little bit of downside movement to benefit that. 
KRE I mentioned, NVIDIA, we've got this short call vertical here. We've got some, uh, it's well within range, just looking for some more downside on that piece. QQQ, I was considering rolling one of these, but I'm going to wait till next week. Uh, just, you know, prices out of range. So we are in a negative theta position. I like to have these more in a positive theta, meaning price is within the range. Uh, but but price has been kind of hanging out up here with the market being strong. So just wait. There's still, you know, if you look at the gray, the gray box here, you know, you've still got within the one standard deviation move, you've still got a realistic probability of price getting back into range if it goes down. Uh, but uh, so that's why I haven't rolled yet. And we've got a couple weeks to do something. And so next week, I'll definitely roll one of these. And then we'll potentially look to to do something with the other depending on where price is. So look for that next week. I mentioned SMH, SPX. Uh, we've got a calendar spread on here. When price made that down movement on Thursday, uh, we weren't, I, I want to book about 20% of profit here. So we've got about two grand. Yeah, 1994 is kind of the max, uh, max, uh, max risk on this and also the capital needed. Let me Toss is kind of freaking out on me here, getting giving me squiggly lines, so let me get back here. Uh, so we didn't have enough profit to book at that point, uh, so we need a little bit of downside movement. If we can get a quick down move next week, we'll be able to book a, a nice 20% profit on this. If not, you know, these uh, we've got about 14 days left, so we're, there's not too much, 13 days left, so there's not too much of an adjustment we could do. We could potentially add another calendar in that last week. I don't necessarily like to do it that close to expiration, but that is an option. And so we'll see what happens. Hopefully we just get a nice quick little down move and we're able to book a profit. Or if it gets closer to that break even, we may just close this out, take a tiny profit, even if it's not the uh, the amount of profit that we want. Depending on, you know, this is a function of price and time. So depending on when it happens, if the price just kind of hangs around here for a while, We'll see what happens, and, and we want to book this, you know, within the within expiration week. So we will see what happens there. Hopefully, we just get a quick down move. SPY, we've got this short call vertical spread on, just moved barely out of range today. So just looking for a little bit of downside to get back into range on that. In Walmart, <coughs> excuse me, we've got a long call on. This is a pre-earnings long call. Uh, earnings are on 516 before the market opens. So we want to be out of this by the 15th of May. So if we get a quick move higher uh, next week, we can book a profit. And that's the that's the game plan here. So you can see price has just been kind of bouncing around. We, we put it on up here and we we're actually close to getting to the point of booking profits on this day. And then the next day, boom, it, it, it dro price dropped. And it's come back up some and just been kind of bouncing around here. So if we can get a little bit of a move higher, uh, that that's what we're looking for in Walmart. I mentioned XLK, XLV. So this is the healthcare ETF. We had that that big down movement, which, which spiked implied volatility. And so we sold some premium here. Now price has really just rallied uh, on us and is kind of in the upper end of the range now of that iron condor. If it moves much closer, we'll close out the untested side with implied volatility. Depending on where that's at, we may look to add to it if implied volatility pops higher. But if it does stay lower, we'll just manage that untested side and, and go from there. And then I have already talked about XRT. So that's all the alerts. That's all the positions. Everybody have a great weekend and we'll see you next week.